Alrighty, so the session that we will be talking about in this video is called Being Your Patient's Biggest Fan, an NBA Mascot and Rheumatology Patient's Perspective. And um, Rob Whip was the speaker, and he was actually the keynote speaker of the conference. Um, as you can tell from the titles, you just have to keep in mind that these titles are geared towards nurses and nurse practitioners. So it's talking about being your patient's biggest fan, things like that. So I just wanted to make sure that we keep that in mind when we're thinking about the topics. Nonetheless, uh, we are going to be pulling out the information that we think is most important for patients, no matter what the session is. Again, an NBA mascot and rheumatology patient's perspective, Rob Wickall was an NBA mascot. He was the mascot for the San Antonio Spurs for several years. He would do all the crazy stunts and get the crowd riled up and things like that. And while he was the mascot, he realized that he was getting a lot of injuries and a lot of pain and he eventually was diagnosed with ankylosing spondylitis and when he was diagnosed with ankylosing spondylitis he was told by the rheumatologist that he would have to stop a lot of the things that he was doing including a lot of the stunts for his job and on top of that he was doing a lot of races he was just very active and so his doctor told him that he needed to slow down and maybe find another job that doesn't have him doing all these stunts. And so he was the coyote, which is the mascot of the San Antonio Spurs. And then when he was diagnosed, he spoke with a nurse afterwards. So I think this is a part of his appeal to talking to the nurses is that when the nurse came to talk to him after the doctor left. He was confiding in her about how he doesn't know how he's going to be able to live with this change because it's going to be so different. And the doctor recommended him to stop doing all these things. And he said that the nurse told him that he didn't have to listen to the doctor's advice, that it was his professional opinion that he should stop. But that doesn't mean that it had to stop him from doing all those things. And he talked about how that was a really big moment where he realized that his future is still in his hands and not in, in not that the disease is going to take him over. And he talked a lot about how nurses can make moments for their patients and that as a mascot, that's what his goal was too, was to make moments for the fans. He talked even about a story about how he used to go and volunteer at the children's hospital and how basically him being there was a really big thing for the kids and wanting to make a moment for them. And so he just wanted to make sure that everybody in the room realizes that we all can take the time to make a moment for those people that we are serving, whether that be when you're a cashier at a grocery store or you are an accountant for somebody, there's always an opportunity to make somebody's day and make them feel special. And I think that was the one of the biggest things that I took from his talk. And as a patient, the biggest thing that I took from his talk was to not let your disease hold you back. He's talked about how he still does races after his diagnosis. And I think obviously there's going to be some patients who have it more severe than others and different diagnoses have different um, symptoms than others. But all we can do is do our best and still try to do the things that we love. So for me, that's singing and dancing. And I have tried to not let my lupus stop me from singing and dancing. Sometimes dancing is a little hard and you get, you get a lot of pain afterwards. Sometimes you have to be like, okay, I'm going to come here. I'm going to dance for 15 minutes, dance my heart out. And then I have to go take a break. You, there, you can still do the things that you love, but modified and accommodating for yourself and your fatigue and your pain and just doing things to help yourself. If you know that you are going to be going out dancing and that's something that's super important to you, maybe taking Advil or Tylenol beforehand so that you can help prevent the pain from coming on and just also always listening to your body. You don't want to push it too hard, but just knowing that you shouldn't, you should you don't have to succumb to your disease as much as possible. You still want to be able to do the things that you love and not let the disease hold you back. And I think that his talk was very powerful and I loved it. 
And I think that as an NBA fan, it was just cool to know that he was also a mascot. But I think the biggest motivation is to, one, make sure that you do your best to make somebody's day every once in a while, because making other people happy can also make you happy. Not to take that overboard and say that all of your joy should come from making other people happy, because that in itself is unhealthy too. But just knowing that you made somebody else's day can also bring a smile to your own face. And yeah, I think that's pretty much it for this talk. It wasn't as educational as it was a motivational talk, but I still think it was important to hear another patient's per perspective and to learn about how he overcame the challenges that came with his diagnosis.